Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel, and today we're going to be showing you Boztex Ball Tube Seal Kit with Tool. Don't really know what to do with my fancy little Boztex sticker here, but I'm going to just place it down right there. So what we wanted to show you today was the Ball Tube Seal replacement on the 6.0 Power Stroke oil delivery rail. Now, Boztech uh, was one of the first companies to come out with the ball tube seal and tool kit. Uh, for a long time, the oil rail on the 6.0 Power Strokes was not serviceable. If you had a, one of these O-rings that blow out or you, de you developed a uh, high side leak at one, of these, uh, at one of these ball tubes, you just had to replace the whole rail, which is pretty costly. So, Boztech came out with their tool and their seal kit, and there's a couple different configurations that you can get this in. If you guys are a shop and you've already got the tool, you can buy just the seals or just the tubes. You can buy seals and tubes together. You can buy the kit with the tool, the seals, the tubes. So there's several different configurations. For the truck that we're going to be replacing uh, the ball tubes on, what we just elected to go with is the seal kit that comes with the tool. So. Um, talk a little bit about what the function of the oil rail is on the 6.0 Power Strokes. So on the 6.0 Power Strokes, you have high pressure oil delivery that comes into the oil rail. The oil, man the oil rail manifold uh, diverts that oil to the injectors and it is delivered to the injectors via the ball tube. You can see there's four on each side of this. Now these ball tubes just slip directly down into the top of the uh, 6.0 injectors and then you have your high side oil delivery. There is an O-ring between um, this ball tube and the oil rail itself and that's where we have our failures. Then it's held in by this uh, not a, it's not a locking ring, it's just a, it's a threaded washer uh, hexed and you can uh, get a tool directly into that, hence the tool. You can get that tool in there and pop that or unthread the ring, get the ball tubes out and change it all so that it makes the rail serviceable. So oil delivery through your standpipe, you have oil that comes into the rail and then delivered from, through the rail and distributed out to the injectors themselves. And again, the O-ring that is at these ball Tubes is very, very prone to failure. So here's the O-rings that, that, that Bostech sends you and the kit that you can get. With this kit, it comes with eight. I've already done one of the other sides. So uh, we've got everything set up here. Now, if you are going to steal uh, your significant other's cookie sheet to collect the oil, uh, be prepared to be fussed at by her or that or whatever. Um, I definitely suggest this because it doesn't matter how long you let the oil rail drain, there's going to be some residual oil inside of there. So let's go ahead and let's start removing these um, removing these ball tubes. Now the nice thing about the Boztech tool is you can see that inside of the tool it is recessed. So when you place this on one of the ball tubes, the ball tube has to be aligned before the tool will even go down into uh, the ring. So I'll show you that. I'll move that ball tube. Doesn't matter how you turn it, what you do, you're not going to be able to get the tool down in there. So you're going to have to straighten up the ball tube. And then voila, it'll, it will fit down in there. So, and you want good engagement in that. You don't want to strip that out. So these are about a hundred foot pounds of torque. So you're going to have to have a pretty good, uh, impact to get these off. So Go ahead and we'll buzz those off. And, and I like to make sure that I keep each one of my rings with their respective locations. So I'll just place them where I know where they go. Like so you can pull your ring out there and the ball tube will come out. And I'm going to let Adam set up on this. I'm going to get my light out. I'm going to show you where the O-ring is. There's a ledge in the bottom of the cup here that the O-ring sits on. I'm gonna let Adam tell me if that's too much light or not. Is that too much? Good. Okay. The O-ring is right here and it sits on this ledge. Let me remove one of these old O-rings, Adam. Okay, I just wanna clean this ledge up just to show you the ledge because we're gonna go through and we're gonna clean everything out real good. We're gonna do that off screen because you don't need to see us cleaning cleaning parts, but I just want to be able to show the leads there. Let me get a light on it too so we can so you can see what you're looking at there. So here is the ledge that the O-ring rides on. 
Okay, the O-ring rides on that, and then the ball, the ball tube makes a seal inside of that because that is a, um, you know, that is a that is a chamfered ball tube, so it's going to engage the O-ring as such, and then the lock, the ring is going to push everything together, and then create your seal. So, all right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and tear the other ones down, and I'm going to get the rail cleaned up, and then we'll show you reassembling everything. All right, so we've got everything cleaned up. We're ready for reassembly here. So now what you want to do is you want to take your Bostec O-rings, and you want to go ahead and put them in a in a little bit of clean motor oil, um, and just get them back for get them ready to be put back in the oil rail here. So I use Lucas, um, you use just clean motor oil, whatever. Uh, Lucas is very stringy and it likes to make a mess, but I like it, so that's what I use. So I put my O-rings in, let them drain as best I can. And then I've showed you all this on a couple of different videos. I've got a O-ring tool. It's got dull edges on it, doesn't cut the O-rings really easy to work with and what I'll do is I'll go in on the o-ring here and I'll just go ahead and get it started on one side down on to the ledge then I'll take my little o-ring tool and I'll work it around here to get it seated and it's important that you do this it's important that you get the o-ring down on the ledge and get it seated because if you put the ball tube in here and then you go to cranking on it with the with the ring, you will pinch the O-ring and you will cause yourself a leak that you invested in this kit to fix or avoid. So you don't want to do that. So take your time here. Take a good smooth tool like I am. Make sure you get your O-ring seated on the ledge of the oil rail. Clean ledge. Make sure everything's clean. Just like so. All right, now we'll go through and we're going to put each one of our ball tubes in. I've cleaned all of these out. They're all ready to go. So I'm just going to set them in there. I'll try not to put pressure on that rail anymore. I didn't know that was flipping over and over. Just a little final check here, make sure there's not any lint or anything in the tube. All right, and you, when you're working with the ball tube, you want to try to keep them as straight as you can uh, from what you can see. And then I just take my ring and I'll just thread it on a couple of threads. I'm not putting any tension on anything. I'm just threading it on a couple of threads here. Then I'll take my boss tech tool, I'll go on the ring, and where it keeps that ball tube aligned because of the way it's made, I'll go in and put just a little bit of tension on this. With the tool. And I'll get this to where the ball tube really can't move. It can move, but you just can't you won't be able to wind won't blow and knock it over. I'll go through and I'll seat them like that, just like so. And then there you are right there. I'll go through and put a final until I can't tighten it with my hand anymore. And then that's it. So, 
What we do now is I'll put this in a vise and I'll torque each one of these to 100 foot pounds. Take it to 100 foot pounds. That'll seat your ball rail, your ball tubes in there, have them ready to go. You can go ahead at that point and then reinstall them into your injectors. Make sure you lubricate your ball tubes before you uh, put them into the injectors. Lubricate the injector O-ring. You want everything to be nice and flush and just simply push your oil rail down to where it engages into the injectors. Don't pull it down with the bolts. You want to go ahead and get it seated as, as, as close to these mounting points, flats as you can. Then you can go ahead and put your mounting bolts in. Then your stand tube, your stand pipe, dummy plug, and there you are. So that is ball tubes on a 6.0 Power Stroke, um, the 04 to, to 07 models in the pickup trucks. You know, I think a lot of people, even if you don't own a 6.0 Power Stroke, you probably see these because it's such a common failure. So you probably see a lot of ads for the ball tubes and whatnot. Probably were wondering what they were. Hope we answered a couple of questions for you like that about that. I just kind of showed you uh, the process of what we do to try to keep everything um, lubricated, aligned, and as clean as we can when we're uh, reinstalling these and doing the job. So if you have a question about 6.0s, you have a question about any Bostech products, if you have a question about ball tubes or seals or any of the uh, 6.0 Power Stroke goodness, just give us a call and we appreciate you watching.